actually a lot of people ask and on the subject of floor bounce um, that's just a way of describing a phenomenon and it's not just floor bounce you have what we call early reflections coming from the original source of the loudspeaker and what that is not only does the speaker produce sound that goes directly to your ears but it also produces sound which goes into different directions which bounces off the nearest objects and then eventually finds its way to the listener but this arrives at different times and in different phases so by trying to m minimize this phenomena which is not a good thing if you want to have a pristine sound you want to be able to just hear the sound coming directly from the loudspeaker without any influences from reflections uh, that will tend to temper or timbre the sound in in a negative way so with in particular with synchrony where we have drivers in different locations on the front baffle this helps to minimize the amount of energy at any one frequency that reflects off of a surface that is nearby and it just so happens we call it the floor bounce because the floor is probably the surface that is closest to the loudspeaker and the floor is also a surface which is always predictably on a towered loudspeaker the same distance I know how far from the floor and with respect to the listener that the floor bounce is so by strategically placing or in this case spreading the drivers over a larger area on the baffle where they do produce common frequencies they will tend to reflect off of a nearby surface uh, at different frequencies causing this phenomena to be minimized at any one frequency having giving you a result that is less influential in changing the sound coming from the loudspeaker and and so we haven't eliminated the floor bounce or the sidewall bounce or the ceiling bounce but what we have done is we've tried to spread it over a range of frequencies which makes the effect that it has minimized